Hello everyone and welcome to game 3 now between Rudon and Reprisal. Game 3 taking place here on Turtle Rock. And now, opening up, we already see that Rudon is in unfavorable positions. This is going to be very close spawns. Human versus Night Elf, which normally means a very, very quick Militia rush. Now, Wisp now making its way around, perhaps going to be setting up an Ancient of War off over here. No, going to be positioning it down here, perhaps, and trying to take down this 2 2 3 3 creep camp. What is happening? Ancient of War now coming off over here. I don't believe it can actually t try and take down this red creep camp. That would be a very strange location as the Altar of Elders is already coming in. So Rudon already opening up with a rather unorthodox strategy. We'll see where he goes with this and what he's going to be doing now. Reprisal, what is his strategy going to be at this point? Reprisal does have the Altar of Kings. Well, Altar of Kings coming in. It looks like it should be an Archmage since he has chosen that in both Game 1 and Game 2. Archmage is and being trained up. Meanwhile, Ancient of War about to be completed. Coming back down over here, it is going to be a Warden this time around. So Rudon, once again, going for a, a Warden instead of a Demon Hunter similar to Game 1. Wisp now making its way off to the north. I don't believe that this Ancient of War can actually creep out this particular creep camp. Um, that's going to be very difficult for it. So it's actually a little bit too far from this creep camp as well. So I'm very curious as, uh, as to what Rudon looks to do here. Wisp now making its way off to the north. Wisp now coming back down over here as well. And even if you do clear out that creep camp, you are still going to be very far behind as your production building is so far from home. Archer now being trained. And is it actually going to go for the shop? Oh, what is this? Going to be trying to creep the shop very quickly. And that is a very, very aggressive shop creep. That I am actually might work out well as the Ancient of War now already tanking here. Wisp unable to repair this one particular Ancient of War as the Demon Hunter should be coming in. It looks like the Warden is not making her way over. What is going on here? More and more Wisp need to repair. Oh, what was that? I'm, I believe that the Ancient of War actually got the hit there. No, the Warden got actually some experience. So that is not too bad of a situation. A third Wisp just sitting right there. Perhaps it should be trying to repair as well as the Warden is attempting to take down this Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi down to two hit points. There it goes. Rune of the Watcher. Claws of Attack plus nine. Very nice item for Rudan. As we are now looking at the um, Archmage. Archmage is now trying to um, do a little bit of creeping. And is it going to win out in that creep war as well? So far, Rudan still um, going to be repairing with one Wisp at a time. It looks like the Warden will quickly get to level 2. That Claws of Attack plus 9 could be the item difference necessary though. As the Forest Troll Trapper still launching axes at that Ancient of War. Coming back over here, Archmage sitting at level 2. Gauntlet of Ogre Strength plus 3 plus... A Cloak of Shadows, not altogether that useful as we are now seeing that the Warden picks up a Circlet of Nobility. Circlet of Nobility now um, going to add a little bit more damage. Once more, that Warden already with plus 11 attack. That is a very, very scary Warden dealing up to 53 damage with only that base attack here. You can see now that uh, the Footmen, are they going to try to perhaps do a surround here? Getting in some easy shots as they're running by. The Footmen cannot really afford to take all of this damage here. Perhaps a fan of Knives could be coming in. No, the Warden just coming back around as the Archers are now coming back. Militia now coming over. So Rudan, um, what? Rudan looking to come in here, trying to engage. It looks like there is a second Ancient of War being added. And now it's some damage onto that Archmage who really needs to focus down all of these Footmen instead as the Militia are coming over. What is going on? Rudan is going to repair his Tree of Life as the Fan of Knives does go off. And what is happening here? One footman does get taken down. Wisp are trying to repair. This is not looking good at all. As you see, a lot of archers and footmen still trying to engage. A second fan of knives coming in. And the pe peasants are actually blocking some of this. This is not... Oh my gosh, Rudan could end up losing his main building so, so quickly. And it looks like, yes, it will get taken down. Another fan of knives. Is it going to be enough? The, oh, the building does go down. And that is a huge, huge loss. Scroll a town portal. Reprisal making human versus night elf look so easy at this point. As Rudan is getting a rude awakening um, playing in Zotac. So far, Reprisal is now up one bases to zero. Rudan does not have enough resources 
needs to do creeping in order to get gold or sell some items. Going to sell the Squirrel Town Portal to try and rebuild his Tree of Life. That is going to severely hurt him. Warden does have a level advantage, but that's the only thing he has going for, or she has going for her. Archmage sitting at level 2. Warden sitting at level 3. We'll see what's going to be happening next as we are still harvesting more and more gold. You, you normally do not think of Warcraft 3 as an economic game, but Reprisal has turned it into exactly that. Warden now coming in. Are we going to get a fan of knives? Yes, a good fan of knives comes off. Archers may be able to get off a shot on that. No, unable to get that footman once more. The Warden now backing away again. This low hit point footman at 32 hit points as the militia are once again going to try to re-engage. This could be very bad here. Another footman gets taken down by his own friendly units. And this Warden may actually get off a lot more kills here as the Warden is sitting at 500 some odd hit points. Takes another fireball to the back. And another water ball to the back. And another fireball to the back. So far, Rudan just chasing back and forth. It looks like we could get another round of Militia coming in. And we do have a couple Moon Wells here. Archers are in position. The um, Warden has to be very careful at this point. Yeah, this is going to be rather scary as this one Tree of Life is not yet completed. And Water Elementals will be able to take it down very, very easily. Here you go. Wisp now coming over. And what is going to be happening here? Take down those footmen if you possibly can. The Warden sitting at level 3. Fan of Knives takes down a couple more footmen. But the Tree of Life taking so much damage. Militia getting taken out. Is it going to get a cancel? Yes, he will. And now the Archmage is still sitting at level 2. Warden getting very close to level 4. There's a detonation. But what's going to be happening is towers are now being added. Level 4 on the Warden. Normally, you would think Rudan is in the lead level 4 versus level 2. But it doesn't matter if you have no bases. As we see now, Rudan is in trouble. G gets a little bit more Moon Juice. Is it going to be enough? Is it enough, fan is it enough for another fan of Knives? Needs to get off another fan of Knives there. T takes down more units. Archers still trying to engage. And you can see a Dust of Appearance revealing the last Huntress there. And this is just a complete, complete one-sided matchup as Peasants are joining in. And there is the GG. All right, I think I think the story of this series has been um, the, the total score doesn't mean Jack. Um, Rudan in game one, very close in total score over Reprisal. Um, and I never thought... Um, I never thought he really had a chance of winning in the last 3-4 minutes of the game. In game 2, he outscored his opponent. And he still didn't look like he was going to win at any point. In game 3, um, almost, what is that? Almost 50% more points than Reprisal. And it still didn't look like he was going to win at all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this unusual set of games. Hope to see you guys on Battle.net.